The bottle on the left in the Corning Museum of Glass is one I often describe as very possibly the earliest object made by glass blowing in our entire collection. This is because it very closely resembles the object on the right found in a cave in the Judean desert in the town of En Gedi. And it was found in an excavation in the early 1960s, and it's dated roughly 40 to 20 BC. And that makes it among the very earliest of objects made by glass blowing. Using a tiny blowpipe, a little bit of glass is gathered on its end. And the blow hose, the rubber tube you see, replaces an assistant blowing when I might ask for air pressure. Gradually, air is blown in. There's the bubble forming. The pipe is held down to elongate the bubble. And the tool marks that we saw between the tube and the vessel body indicate that just about at this point the two-bladed tool, the jacks, were used to begin to articulate the body from the tube. And it's that move that leaves those tiny tool marks we see in the original object. The glass is very thin and has to be reheated very frequently. The bottom is flattened. There's no punty mark on these objects of this type, so the clamp device is used. And at the narrow constriction near the blowpipe, the tube breaks easily. And the end is placed just inside the furnace. And when the glass gets to a temperature of about 13 or 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, it's soft. And a small conical tool is used to push the rim inward. This is the beginning of the folded lip, the small inner folded lip. And the last step is to give the rim and the upper tubular neck its final shape. The object can then be flashed in the furnace to make everything the same temperature and released from the clamp device. Folded rim, tubular neck, slight articulation between the body and the vessel, and no punty mark.